Hello, hi guys, I'm Prakash and today I'm going to show you how to create an EF of extensible text fields in Oracle Fusion. So I'm going to uh, create a you know a personal information GF of in HCM, which is human capital management. For this, the navigations will be set up and maintenance. And once we reach there in two ways, we can um, uh, go and create uh, personal information flex fields. One is uh, through manage extensible flex fields and other way is to manage person extensible flex fields if you query for manage extensible flex fields then you uh, just need to query for you know flex field code which is parallel underscore person underscore eat underscore eff or you can directly go to manage person extensible flex fields for creating the eff for person uh, employee information so for creating an eff we are going to uh, you know uh, follow a few steps we are going to search for and you know manage extensible flex fields and from there we, there will be a manage uh, context and we are, we are going to create the context and we are going to create few fields and we are going to create the page and uh, associate the context to the page and finally we are going to deploy the EFF so all the informations personal informations uh, you know that we are going to create will be stored in a table okay which is uh, per underscore people underscore extra underscore info underscore f now let's see how to create uh, EFF uh, in the application before we go and create an EFF let's see you uh, know where we where do we you know go and uh, check the EFF information for an employee for this the navigations will be home and there will be a menu called my client group from there you will query for person management and you can query for an employee you can query for an employee from this place or you can select an employee and you can go to an action from that person and employment and you can query for the person or you can click this employee Once you click the employee on the right hand side, you will find the task. It's taking quite a bit of time to load it. Yes, and you will find this task here and uh, you can find a person, personal and employment. From that you will find the person, click on the person and you can find the extra informations, you know, that uh, what we are going to create or go, going to be appeared in this place you can see there are no seeded functionalities which are already available so in this if you notice uh, you know the, you can either create EFF for multiple rows so for an employee you will have a multiple rows or if you want to create a single row you can create using uh, you know, uh, these, these methods so that options are available you know while creating an uh, EFF so now let's create the EF of information for that the navigations will be set up and maintenance and once you go to set up and maintenance you can find a task on the right hand side click on the task and you will find a search button in the search you can search for manage extensible flex fields and as i told you there are two ways uh, you know you can uh, approach to create an extensible flex fields either you can go to manage extensible flex fields or uh, you can directly query for manage person extensible flex fields you know this is this option is there for you know for creating an EFF for a person uh, uh, for an employee so i will show you in both the ways so now you query for manage extensible flex fields now you can search for extra information so that will take you to this screen and you can click on the edit and you can create the EFF 
or as I told you there is other way you can directly query for this person extensible fix field and which will take you to this screen whereas you can also edit and create your EFR so we will use this and edit the extensible flex fields click on the pencil button which will take you to this screen and here you can see the categories and uh, if you click on this category you will find there are no serial functionalities that are available and the pages that are available so it's taking a bit of time okay these are the pages that you will that are available so now we are going to create our own context for that click on this button which is manage context now click on this you know plus icon for creating the context create your own context you know keep it name as my own page and it will make sure whether you are uh, having an existing page or your new page if you are having an existing page it will give an error so in this case it was not giving error which means those contexts are not, not available my own page and you can keep your name as api now you can create the api name as per your you know own understanding now this is a behavior field uh, if this is what i i mean in the previous uh, when i was explaining about multiple rows and single rows so this is what the multiple rows if you want to have a multiple rows you can select or single rows you can select in our case we will create a multiple rows and uh, before you save uh, it will give one warning message uh, if you try to save it uh, it will give a warning message at least one context usage should be associated now you need to associate this context usage click on this uh, you know, plus icon and associate the context as usage code for person and click on the save once you save the pencil uh, i mean the plus icon will be appearing uh, for creating the segments which is nothing but creating the fields so click on this plus icon and create uh, you know few fields will keep as you know some name as name employee name code we can keep the code as employee api Okay. this unique key unique uh, key is required because we are creating a multiple rows so we can make like you know a person number or ID or something and we should make it as unique key but for um, for this name we are ma not making this unique key it will keep the data type as characters so one it depends upon the character data type the the table column will change so for example if you are choosing a data type as number then it will change as per information number one if you are going to change as date then it will change as date so like this you will have 15 uh, you know uh, type of you know information that you can uh, create so for the name we will create as per information and value set we will use uh, you know 30 characters value sets default type if you want to create a constant anything you can uh, use it but we are we are not going to use all these things ba publishers i mean if you want to oh, this field to be appeared in the ba reports then you can enable this checkbox and you save it now you can save and close create another field which is the number in this e number you can keep a c number and 
so can keep the same as character by default it will select you know since you used uh, the information one by default system is selecting the per informations too select the characters and data type is nothing and let it be as it is and user bi enable i can save and close you know now it will not allow you to save it because uh, you know you need to create one field and make that as unique next if you try to save this it may give one warning message saying you need a unique field if you try to save it it will give a warning message since you have selected this behavior as multiple it will it is giving an error message which is multiple row context should have at least one unique key defined so click on this create and uh, just name keep the name as you know employee id or something and um, choose it as number in the, the the table column will be selected as you know information number and here you can click the tick box which is unique key okay you can choose the value set as number you can choose the value set as number you can choose from the search can search for number which is and data type you are not going to use anything if required you can enable for BA enable and now you can save and close now if you try to save it it should go through successfully yeah so now it has saved successfully now save now save and close it now we are going to create the pages now save and close this now search for this category and click on this category which is person extra information and go to this tab pages and click on the create and you can uh, you know uh, provide the display name um, it is our own page and you can create like uh, you know your own page this is the name that will be appeared uh, you know for the user you can create a code as xx and here you can select the usage and click ok now click on save button now you need to create uh, associated context now in this associated context what is the context that you have created using this manage context that you are going to associate here so click on the plus icon here now search for you know, my context page and click on apply now go to this page save it now query for the page which you have created which is your own page and click on this plus icon and associate the context and in this you search for the context which you have created which is my contacts or own page 
apply okay now save this save and close now we are ready and now we need to deploy this once you deploy this uh, the deployment status should change to green Now it is successfully deployed. Now let's try to you know query and then verify if the EFF has been associated or not. Query for the person management. Search for Andy. Select an employee. Go to the task person now it is appearing so for uh, to be a safer side whenever you create an EFF you better you know uh, sign out and sign in so that you know the it will appear you know the, the information will uh, appear appropriately So let me sign out and sign in again. Now I signed out and again I signed in. Let me search for employee. Select this, go to action. Person information and go to the extra information. This is the page that we have created. The context EFF. Click on this. Now you can see the the columns that uh, we have created for EFF is appearing here, and it shows is mandatory. So now you click on this button and update this update the information and create the record you can keep the name as my name my number id1 okay now save it and submit so information has been saved and it is submitted now there is a table which I you know explained you so from the table now this is the table uh, you know, as I explained you know we can query uh, the information if the record has been created or not which is per people extra info and we can ensure uh, you know the all the informations are available and this is how it is, you know, how, how we, uh, to create an EFF extensible uh, pixels in Oracle Fusions. And in next video, I will show you how to you know, uh, upload this EFF information using HCM Data Loader.